the fight between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White was one that captured the attention of the world. It was a sellout at the O2 Arena, which was, you know, kind of in that when AJ started to inject that new hype within boxing. Dillian White played the role of the bad guy really well. And it was this performance that gained him the love of a lot of British fans. He showed that he's stubborn, he's resilient, he's tough. Although Dillian White is a shell of the fighter that he was back then, now, in my opinion, that's, this was the fight. This was the fight that made both fighters. This was the fight that turned AJ into that worldwide superstar. And this was the fight that turned Dillian White into a household name within Britain. But moreover, the the reason that I make this video is because we want to find out who had the better KO over Dillian White. Was it Anthony Joshua or was it Tyson Fury? I think it's important that we make this comparison video because these two, when I speak about AJ and Fury, the day of them fighting is getting closer and closer. Their careers are coming towards an end now and we want to compare their wins side by side. AJ made a comment recently and said, his wins against similar opponents to Tyson Fury, he's done a better job on them. Well, this is one where I believe there is an equal argument for both sides as to who had the better KO. AJ knocked out Dillian White in round 7 with an uppercut. Fury stopped Dillian White after a flawless performance where Dillian White couldn't even lay a glove on him in round 7 as well. The problem is, with the Tyson Fury fight, Dillian White was not able to lay a glove on him. And for all the talk and for all the, you know, trash talk over the years that Dillian White had originally said, he did, he failed to live up to expectation when the time came. He had his opportunity to fight Fury, but the performance was absolutely shocking. And I expected much better for him because he's been giving it the talk for all these years. But when the time came, he was swinging and missing wildly. And, you know, he put up a poor performance. He did not do himself any favours. Um, maybe there's talk of him having an injury in that fight or something. But Tyson Fury played with him and he made it look so easy. Tyson Fury knocked out Dillian White with a clean uppercut in the sixth round. Dillian White could not lay a glove on Tyson Fury. He was swinging and missing, hitting the ropes. He was slow. He was plodding forward. The game plan was obvious for Dillian White on what he had to do. The least he could have done was given a better account of himself within that fight, even if he was going to lose. But the AJ fight, Dillian White had a lot more success. We saw in round two, Dillian White was able to buzz Anthony Joshua. Even though AJ pretty much dominated every other round of the fight, it's just that split 30 seconds where Dillian White was having his success. He could have potentially got him out of there, but he couldn't due to conditioning. We know Dillian White has since taken a more professional approach with his training or whatnot. And he doesn't have shoulder issues right now. But the fight against AJ and the fight against Fury was just craziness. Like the levels. Dillian White put in a much better performance back then than he did in the fight of his life. It seemed as though maybe the occasion swallowed him up. Maybe all the years of waiting or maybe he just grew old overnight. What? was the reason for Dillian White's performance over Tyson Fury. Why was it so below subpar? Whereas his performance against AJ was probably one of his best performances of his career, even though he got knocked out with his Achilles heel uppercut punch. The blueprint was set by Anthony Joshua on how to beat Dillian White, but Tyson Fury done it in a much better way. Tyson Fury beat him conclusively, dominated him, and Tyson Fury decided when he wanted to stop him. Anthony Joshua was trying to stop Dillian White in the first round. You can see all the shots that AJ was throwing. AJ was trying to hurt him with every punch. Tyson Fury played with him. And then when he decided, he said, yep, it's time to get him out of here. And he hit him with a clean uppercut. And Dillian White went to sleep. Good night. He did not know where he was. Fury literally displayed the uppercut in such a professional way. He set it up. He saw the opening was there. He saw Dillian White was not going to move his feet to get out of the way in time and he landed the shot right on the button. Dillian White was knocked out and he did not know what had hit him. So overall, between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury has the better KO over Dillian White. 
when we talk about overall performance, it was pure domination from start to finish. He did not look in trouble once.